this psychic told me something about seeing Bo in some kind of danger, something about him taking a ride. Oh, that's terrible. You mean like an accident? You don't know if Bo drove here himself or if he came in a cab. Only poor people take cabs in these parts. Sweetie, that guy who was in here earlier, you know, the one with the hangover? What about him? Any idea where he was headed when he left? A bar, more than likely. Do you remember anything else? Anything he might have said? I, I don't know if it'll mean anything, but he was mumbling something about Pa. <sighs> you can't do a thing to me from where you are now. I'm right here, Bo. Broke the rules again. Something you could never do even when you were a kid. Now, your brother Clint. He had the guts. We'd go riding and hunt birds on Yeah, on old man Rainey's farm. He didn't want you there. So he'd call the sheriff. When that didn't work, he put up a big old fence. Me and Clint cleared it. Plenty of room to spare. But you, <laughs> you balked like a little girl riding side saddle. I didn't make the jump because that was old man Rainey's property. He didn't want you there. It's his birds. Wasn't right. Do you think I give a damn what's right? Right gets you tricked by the same woman twice. Right gets you fired from your police department. Right gets you the damn Dorian. Stealing B right from under you. At least Clint tried to fight it. But you, you went squealing home like you did when you were a kid. You never had any guts, Bo. You still don't. Okay, poisons are all locked up, stashed away. What can we do? Nothing. Everything's coming along. Alrighty then, I'm gonna go make myself a cocktail. Oh, you know what? I'll come with you. Do you want something sparkly? Sure. It smells and looks killer. I hope so. Maybe tonight Ken turn out his plan. Charlie is a drunk, just as you are a degenerate. Neither one of you needs narcotics or anything else to get you to do what you do best. Now, take me straight home or so help me, I'm calling the police. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What? Why are you stop? Oh, David! Did you decide to abduct me and not check your gas gauge first? I was running out of time. I used all the money I had from Addie's purse to pay off your driver. Here we go, Plan B. <laughs> Although, I do wish Vicky hadn't have taken the car because nobody could have pinned the brakes on me. Poison's gonna be a little bit trickier. But then again, who doesn't want to poison Natalie and Jared? You know, everybody hates them. Could have been Lois or the gardener. <laughs> Here we go. Should get rid of those pests for good. What pests? I, I I didn't mean to say that out loud. Oh, well, why'd you say it? I, I was just remembering, you know, Nash's last day, the day that he died. You know, we were working in the vineyard. He was trying to get rid of an insect. It was a gorgeous day. And uh, we were working on this organic compound. And Bree was there, and I and I asked him if any of the stuff that he was using would hurt her if she got close to it. And he said, of course not. He wouldn't use anything that would hurt Bree. But he said, this stuff will get rid of those pests for good. Uh, everything OK? Yeah, um, it's great. I just re keep on replaying moments in my head over and over again, but you know, having you guys here really helps. Helps stop that. It means a lot.
anyway. The risotto is almost ready, so let's eat. <laughs> You're a moron. You know that, don't you? I mean, you decide to abduct me, you drive us out here in the middle of nowhere, and then you run out of gas. What are you waiting for? Get out of the car and start walking. You think for a second that I'm going to lift a finger to help you, you are seriously deluded. Oh, and if you think for a second I'm going to spend the night out here with you, you're seriously deluded. Do something. You know what? You're on your own. Why don't you mix yourself a roofie cocktail? Sleep it off in the back. Where are you going? Away from you. Take a gas can. Bite my knee. This is kidnapping. You know that? Or something damn close to it. There's gonna be payback. Watch out for the wolves. Look, Gigi, I have no right to be given any As soon as Rex gets back, no. I'm gonna tell him. Well, wait. Rex is gone. Where'd he go? Bo Buchanan went missing, and he went to look for him. Well, I hope Bo's okay. Rex really needs him now. Hey. Bo got here about an hour ago or so. What a relief. Yeah, good thing, too. There is a storm brewing. I wasn't sure Bo would show up. Not the ranch isn't in the family. Yeah, Buchanan's are welcome here anytime. Let Bo in here. Right? Yeah, screw them all. You're not bothered by an old storm, are you? Nah, neither am I. We're gonna get you settled up. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, stop. Don't take that ride. Thank goodness! Woo. There you go. Bon appetit. Thank you. Um, aren't you gonna eat? You know, they call it morning sickness, but it lasts all day, so I'm just gonna watch you guys eat. Please, eat up. You're not gonna slow down and stop for me? Think again! 